and welcome to my channel. My name is Martine, and if you are new here, I do videos on Vedic astrology mainly, but also with some tropical insights, and I focus on both relationship and natal astrology. And if you like this video and you would like to see more content from me, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, also consider clicking the notifications bell if you want to see when I will post a new video. Also, if you are interested in a private reading, I do readings in astrology on a variety of topics ranging from relationship readings to career to transits for two, three years or solar return charts or predictions for one year, etc. You are free to email me at the email address that I will leave in the video description and I can send you a pricing list and reading options and any other details that you might require. Also, I want to mention that I have started membership options on this channel, and the short of it, just to give you the short perks that you will get if you choose to join the membership section, you will get one extra video per month for each membership stage or tier. So for the first tier, you will get one video, one extra video per month, for the second tier, you will get two extra videos per month, so you will have access to level one and level two videos. And for level three or third tier, you will get three extra videos per month. Uh, the level one and level three videos are going to be on a variety of topics, so basically anything related to astrology, but it will be content that is not shown on my regular um, you know, my regular usual videos, right? So this is members only exclusive content and it can range from, you know, tips and tricks on how to read a horoscope to, um, I haven't done this yet, but I plan on doing maybe members only, um, astrological synastry for famous couples, for instance, or, um, the analysis of famous people's horoscopes, but then I can also get into divisional charts, etc., etc. So all kinds of things. The level one or second tier of membership options is especially related to synastry astrology topics, meaning relationship-oriented astrology. So this could be things like how to discover which kind of partner archetype is right for you according to your horoscope, um, or it could be, again, different characteristics, you know, whether you're going to have a good marriage according to your horoscope or a less than stellar marriage, but you can find more concrete examples in the lists that you will find in the video description um, because I have added the playlists where you can already see all the videos that I have posted in each member's section. So yeah, you can see what videos you will have access to uh, from the ones that I have already done. But I will continue to post, like I said, one extra video per month for each level of membership. And in addition to that, in the members only section, you will have access to members only polls. And you will also have priority when it comes to getting your comments replied to on my channel and you will also have stickers that basically show up next to your username that show that you are a member um, and a couple of exclusive emojis all right so that's pretty much all the perks that you can have as a member on my channel if you're curious you can check the video description for more details as well, or you can click the join button under any of my videos to also see the prices because the prices will be shown in your local currency. All right. In addition to the members only section, I also have a tarot channel and I post there semi-regularly and I will be linking the tarot channel in the video description as well as in the pinned comment uh, it's called Martine's Tarot. So if you are curious about tarot, if you're into it, maybe check out my channel, maybe subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much for listening to this intro. And now I'm going to get straight into today's topic. Hello and welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video from me. I know that I have taken quite a bit of a hiatus on this channel. I have to start with an introduction, uh, but I started a new job relatively recently and it's just draining 
the living daylights out of me. Daylights, literally the daylights because it's a evening and night shift job. And yeah, I basically, in addition to that, also have other things that I'm doing. So I'm like working about 60 hours per week. And I have been postponing doing another video for like at least two weeks. And um, yeah, finally getting to it. I will be doing the Princess Diana and Prince Charles Sinistry analysis as soon as I can. But right now, again, my time is limited, so I thought I would do something else that doesn't take as long. Um, because that one, I could not know how long it would take. It might take me more than an hour to record, and I don't have that much time right now. So I figured that I would just do um, the fourth house lord through houses, because I have done the eighth house lord through houses, and I've also done the 12th house lord through houses, so I figured that I would continue with the third and final water house. Obviously, this is my personal order. <laughs> like, it's not in the order of the normal um, wheel of the zodiac that starts with the first house and ends with the 12th house. Um, but the reason I start with the water houses is because these houses are the more mystical, related to the occult uh, and emotions and all these things. So... I don't know, for some reason I find them to be a little bit more fascinating than the rest of the houses, at least for me on a personal level, because obviously I'm very much into the occult and all this stuff. So the water houses will show up prominently in people's horoscopes when they are um, fascinated with things like astrology, tarot, and all this stuff, you know, looking towards the hidden um, aspects of life, you know, things that are hidden from view and mysterious and all that stuff. So, yeah, but it, there is more to them than that, of course. They also have a more pragmatic side, especially the fourth house, which I'm going to be getting to this time. So, what is the fourth house? The fourth house is about real estate. It's also about early childhood. So, it represents, like, early education, let's say, up until the point where you graduate from high school. Um, after which, the fifth house is about university, college, that kind of thing. Um, so, the fourth house is education to some extent. Like I said, early education, it's the mother, the mother archetype, the relationship with the mother, the mother side of the family. So it could also show different things about the mother's lineage. Um, it's also real estate. So it shows things like, um, you know, what kind of a house or apartment are you going to live in? Um, how much luck are you going to have in this department? It also rules vehicles, things like any kind of mode of transportation. So cars, bicycles, whatever, uh, <laughs> like tricycles, yachts, uh, whatever it is. Uh, all of this is fourth house. And then, of course, it's also history. It's um, your motherland, quote unquote. See, this is a bit debatable. Obviously, most astrologers link the fourth house to your place of origin. But I would say it's especially connected to the mother's origin. Because, again, the fourth house is the uh, the mother's house. So the matrilineal heritage. Um, but it does generally show your homeland, okay? So where you were born, your culture, your history, the history of the place. How does it impact you? What kind of a relationship do you have to the place that you were born in, you know, and your culture? All of that stuff. That is the fourth house. Also, memories to some extent. This is why it's also to some extent connected to history, especially personal history, family history, and all that stuff. Again, especially, especially connected to the mother side of the family, but not only. And everything connected to your early home environment. You know, it also corresponds to the sign of cancer and therefore also the moon. And if you remember from the videos that I did previously um, on, for instance, um, abusive childhoods and many other videos where I talked about the link between astrology and psychology, I mentioned it that the moon is the mother archetype, right? So the moon and the fourth house are to be looked at when you want to understand a person's relationship with their mother and what kind of a mother figure they had and how did this mother figure influence them, among many other things, like I said. It's also, of course, the home base as opposed to the career, right? So your private life, basically. 
Um, this is why the 10th house is directly opposite. The 10th house, the house of career and visibility and all that stuff is directly opposite from the 4th house. And the, the 10th house, by contrast, shows how people see you in the world, right? What is your reputation? What is your profession and all that stuff? What is your standing in, a, in society? The 4th house, by contrast, is how do people know you in private? What is your private side? You know, makes me think of that song in, that, in My Secret Life by Leonard Cohen. That kind of thing. That's the kind of energy of the fourth house. So that being said, oh, another last thing. Uh, if you want to look at it from a medical perspective, the fourth house is the stomach, the chest, the breasts for women, but the chest area in general, the stomach, like I said. Um, it's also connected to things like uh, anything related to the chest. So any issues may be connected to the chest, like including heart issues or something to some extent could be shown by the fourth house. This is relevant when you look at transits, but also when you look at natal astrology to some extent. And last but not least, just like the moon shows your needs, the fourth house has a correspondence to that. And because of this, in, in especially in traditional Vedic astrology, it's sometimes called the house of happiness. So like showing the overall level of life satisfaction that you might get. But as usual, I would say that this is a bit fatalistic to look at. However, you can look towards the fourth house to see what makes you happy or what might increase your happiness in life. Okay, that being said, um, let's move directly into what are the positive sides this time for this video. So I'm going to do a separate video for the more negative aspects. But what are the, the positive aspects of the fourth house lord through each house? So the fourth house lord in the first house tends to show that your mother has been instrumental in shaping your identity and your personality. Your mother is a very important figure. So depending on what else is going on there, if you also have, let's say, the, let's say the fourth and the tenth house lord sitting in the first house, this could show that you're equally influenced by both parents. But if it's just the fourth house lord, it shows that your mother is like probably the most important person in your life in shaping your personality. It also shows that... Um, you could be particularly uh, renowned within your country or you might have an opportunity where um, you might, how should I put it, increase the reputation of your country. Of course, you also have to look at whether this is a positive Lord placement or a negative Lord placement, but this is true for all of the placements that I'm going to be describing. So I'm mainly going to be looking at what are the potential positive outcomes of this. So let's say you have a fourth house lord that is in a good sign, that is well aspected by predominantly benefics, you know, no major affliction and all that, then you will see a situation where the homeland is actually beneficial to you. It is building you up. It is strengthening you. You know, you f you're the kind of person that finds strength when you go back home, for instance. This could also show that you might have an interest in... Um, real estate to some extent, yes, but it could also especially show interest in vehicles, right? So depending on what else is going on, I would not be surprised if you were to see this in someone like, like Schumacher's horoscope or someone, you know, someone who becomes really driven to, um, you know, compete in cars with cars or vehicles of any kind, you know, these kinds of races that involve vehicles, uh, that would be something that would be really interesting because the first house is also the house of the physical body and athleticism and all this stuff like sports in general, right? So that could be an aspect. It also generally shows that you will tend to be happy at home. You will tend to be pretty happy um not just at home, but also you will be happy um when you are standing out, when you are, let's say, at the forefront of something, um, situations where you are, let's say, a spokesperson or a leader, something like that. Or again, when you are, let's say, competing or in any kind of activity that involves the physical body, right? Where people just see your body, like notice you. And it might even show that you might choose some kind of a career in one of these fields, you know, connected to real estate, connected to maybe history, something involving, uh, involving the mother side of the family. So maybe you might be going in the same profession as your mother or someone in the mother side of the family. 
Um, and again, it, you would be favored in the homeland, generally. Again, unless there are a lot of other signifiers that say otherwise, right? So let's say you have a really damaged uh, fourth house lord. If you have a lot of malefics aspect in the fourth house, um, then it would become questionable. But for the most part, this placement would favor you in the homeland, right? As opposed to going abroad, for instance, or dealing with foreign cultures. So, um, this is pretty much what I can say about fourth house in the in the first in the first sorry, um, fourth house lord in the second house. This is a very good placement for real estate business. So, it shows that you will have some amount of gains from real estate. Whether you will inherit something again, when it comes to inheritance, you might be especially looking towards inheritances from the mother side of the family, but not only. Um, and as usual, I always mention this in any video, you have to look at the big picture and look at everything that's going on in an individual horoscope to actually draw a specific conclusion. But I'm telling you what I see from this one aspect, okay? So fourth house lord in the second house, definitely great for real estate. Um, it can show gains from anything involving directly... Um, direct profession, I mean, professions that directly deal with money, managing money, managing assets, especially fixed assets. Um, it could even be things like being an accountant, being a bank manager, being a bank employee, uh, these kinds of situations, right? It can also show that you are gaining, so you're very lucky when it comes to the family of origin because you have this multiply, already showed multiple times within one aspect, right? Second house and fourth house, both of them are connected to the family of origin. So this just shows that the family of origin, if this is positive, uh, is really supportive, is going to give you a lot of uh, not just emotional support and build up your self-esteem, but like I said, most likely also give you some kind of inheritance, especially with respect to real estate or vehicles. This can also show that you love to live with family or, um, <laughs> again, I said that this video is going to be mostly about the positive aspects, so I'm going to stick to the positive aspects. Uh, the positive is that you're going to be living with family and it's going to be like a good situation, right? So you're going to be in some ways, lucky. You're going to enjoy your family's company. You might be dealing with a situation where you're not even in a hurry to move because it's just a good, comfortable situation. This can also be a good placement for someone who wants to open a restaurant, for instance, uh, or a hotel, but I would say especially a restaurant because both the second and the fourth houses are um, very connected to food. You know, when the fourth house is especially connected to real estate, second house is connected to food and eating habits and all that stuff. So depending on what else is going on here, it could definitely show that you would be favored in managing a restaurant, working in the restaurant business, working directly with food, nurturing people, um, maybe in the hotel business again, any kind of like anything involving food, basically, maybe a nutritionist to some extent as well. This also just shows that your your family of origin is a source of happiness for you, pretty much. Aside from that, um, music can also be a source of happiness. Food can also be a source of happiness. And your voice might be particularly attractive or somehow you might be working in jobs that um, favor you when you speak somehow. You know, you might be you might need to communicate a lot when it comes to your work. All right, when the fourth house lord is going into the third house. So this placement is a little bit trickier, but again, I said this video is going to be mostly about the positive side, so I'm not going to dwell on the negatives. So in this situation, you will have a lot of courage, um, but you might also see a bit of obstacles, right? Because the fourth house lord is going 12 places from itself. So what this could show is best case scenario, um, you could find a home almost anywhere. You could be the kind of person that is really adaptable. Um, and let's say you don't need a lot when it comes to comforts. You could just 
let's say spend long periods of time on the road, for instance, that could be a thing. You might even decide that you would like a mobile home. There are loads of people out there who are doing that. Um, for instance, you would probably not mind something like a tiny house, <laughs> like situation on wheels or something, um, just to keep moving. That could be a thing. Another way to look at this is you could also have success if you tried to um, move abroad. Because again, the fourth house Lord is going 12 places from itself. So this shows that you might have opportunities to, to settle abroad. But as usual, I will mention a lot depends on individual placements. This also shows that your happiness to some extent is very much connected to your ability to move a lot, your ability to control your own life. So you're probably very independent. You're happy being independent, doing your own thing. Um, you have a, you're the kind of person who needs a high level of autonomy in order to feel comfortable and happy. And you probably like to travel and move around a lot. Maybe not necessarily moving um, in the sense of, let's say, long distance travel, but you like to just be on the move. You know, maybe running errands, traveling a lot. Like I said, vehicles could really be a thing. Um, you could do well in a business where you run errands, for instance, you know, or you just have to drive around a lot. Like a real estate agent, for instance, would be a good thing, definitely, with this placement. This also shows that you derive a lot of joy out of intellectual curiosity and music and communication. So you could be the kind of person that has a rich imagination and you might be very creative in expressing yourself, whether it's through speaking or writing or any kind of mode of communication. And um, yeah, so you could have some talent with respect to your mind being creative and imaginative. And again, a lot would have to be seen from other places in the horoscope, but this could point out to, I don't know, being a talented writer or a content creator nowadays, or just being really fun to listen to. Maybe you also have, you know, good stories to tell. You're a good storyteller, you know, stuff like that. It also can show that the relationship to your siblings, especially younger siblings, if there are any, um, could be a source of happiness. This could also show that the sibling could seem like, this is really more specific, but um, for some, depending on what else is going on, it could be that the sibling somehow takes on the role of the mother. So it, even the younger sibling, they could be like a mother figure, they could be like a really nurturing person or someone who's like a stable, supportive individual in your life. Like I said, a lot has to be seen from other situations. If we have the fourth house Lord sitting in the fourth house, so this is a really strong, solid placement that shows, first of all, a very strong uh, foundation, unless there's a lot of affliction here. But like I said, in this video, I'm focusing on the positive expressions of these placements. So this means when the fourth house Lord is healthy and a good placement, not severely afflicted and all of that, right? So predominantly positive influences. In this situation, it shows you had a very supportive early life environment, a very supportive mother figure, someone who is very loving and, um, you know, built you up, gave you a solid foundation. You were probably pretty good in school, you know, um, because the fourth house is early education up until, let's say, you graduate high school. So this shows a, a solid foundation in life. It, it's what it shows, stability. And it also shows that you probably didn't move around a lot when you were growing up. So you probably had, again, a pretty solid home, um, especially if you have a fixed sign on, sitting on the fourth house cusp as, as well. So that means uh, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio or Aquarius. And this could also show that the family base, not just that the family base, especially the family, the mother side of the family was pretty solid and supportive and probably, you know, tightly knit, but also the home itself, the physical home that you grew up in was probably really good, you know, pleasant. And basically you got your needs met to a large extent. It also shows that your happiness comes from 
being at home. <laughs> um, you are probably more of a homebody. You're someone who doesn't mind being at home for long periods of time. You might even enjoy working from home in some situations. Um, this could also show a very strong interest in real estate and um, vehicles and or vehicles. You know, it could show like you might be, you know, you might be really interested to the point of turning this in a career, for instance. This also shows that you're probably pretty comfortable living in the country that you were born in. So it shows a very strong bond to the place of origin and the mother's side of the family and the mother's side um, and, the, and her culture, especially. So, yeah, um, if there are other factors that support this, it probably shows that you would not be happy moving abroad or anything like that because there could be too strong of a attachment to the place of origin. This can also show that you're happy when um, you're dealing, well, first of all, when you're around your mother or the mother's side of the family. Um, this can also show that you're very happy focusing on real estate and your home, maybe beautifying your home, uh, interior decoration, architecture, all, all of these things could be particularly strong interests and or um, the same things, but related to vehicles. I don't know, like um, <laughs> renovating cars or something. I don't know if that's a thing, but it could be like um, the inside of the car and all that stuff. Also shows a very imaginative inner world, a very rich inner world. And just based on this placement, you're more likely to be an introvert. But again, a lot would have to be seen based on other areas. This is really specific, but it could be that the chest area stands out physically. Chest and stomach could be particularly strong. Again, I'm talking about the positive expressions. Aside from that, this could also show that you might be someone who gains recognition in the country of origin. Like people in your country of origin respect you, tend to respect you, tend to see your value. So, and again, it's kind of going hand in hand with what I said previously that you might have an easier time getting recognition when you are in your homeland. If you have the first house, sorry, fourth house lord in the fifth house. So this shows that you are a very creative person First and foremost, you have a very rich imagination. Your ideas um, can be very much shaped by your mother, by your mother's side of the family. So your mother could have really had a very strong influence on you when it comes to your education. It could also show higher education, college, master degree, a master's degree, um, that level of education in areas connected to the fourth house. So. This could show real estate, um, architecture, anything to do with buildings, for instance. It could also be tourism, you know, the hotel business, learning about that. Um, management or management of hotels and stuff like that, you know, if you're talking about a college education. Could also be constructions, construction engineers. Um, could be also automotive and engineers, you know, anything connected to vehicles, because the fourth house is also vehicles. Um, could also be education in, for instance, if you're into medical school, depending on what else is influencing this configuration, it could be um, focusing on cardiovascular diseases or focusing on um, the digestive system because the fourth house is uh, also the stomach and it's also the chest area. Could also be the respiratory system as well because that's the chest as well to some extent. This can also show that you can easily gain money from these actions, uh, any activity connected to the fourth house. This can also show that your mother built up your self-esteem. Education can also seriously build up your self-esteem. You might also go to university for areas connected to, for instance, learning history or genetics, anything that has to do with understanding the origin of families and all this stuff. Or nutrition could also be a thing. 
Also, anything to do with restaurants. So you might be really interested in restaurants. But overall, there's a, a great deal of imagination and creativity. So a very fertile mind. This also just literally shows that um, you can gain a lot of happiness from your children or working with children. And you can also get a lot of happiness and joy from your education. So getting an education or studying in general can really boost your morale and uh, just bring you a lot of satisfaction in life. Another thing could be teaching. You know, teaching could really bring you a lot of happiness. Um, speculative gains can also bring you some happiness. Again, I'm talking about the positive expressions of these aspects. I will do a separate video. I mentioned this in the introduction where I'll, I will deal with the potential pitfalls of the same placements. But if everything is positive here, there is no massive affliction of the fourth house lord. Um, this can bring joy and speculative gain. So even maybe, you know, uh, potentially winning like small windfalls, let's say by learning to invest. And any kind of creative endeavor will bring you a lot of happiness. Especially dramatic arts, but it could be anything. Anything that involves creativity, I mean. It also tends to show that most likely you will complete education in the country of origin. Fourth house lord in the sixth house. Huh. This is a bit of a challenging one, but again, I'm going to focus on the, um, the positives. So the positives here are that you definitely are someone who has a lot of drive and a lot of bravery. You're probably the kind of person that enjoys competition. You actually thrive in competition. You like to, you know, flex your muscles. You like to, uh, you just like, you know, the challenge. You like the challenge and you just like to compete. So this could be, depending on what else is going on in the horoscope, it could be a good placement for someone who wants to be like a professional uh, sports person, for instance, any kind of profession where you just have to compete all the times. And you gain money from competitions, for instance. This can also show um, a strong motivation to be independent, maybe even self-employed if the rest of the horoscope um, supports this. This can also show that you gain a lot of happiness from being of service. Um, not just dealing with competitions and enemies and all that, but also just feeling like you're giving back to society, like you're doing something useful. Um, it shows a particular interest in medical science, maybe working with animals. Again, a lot also has to be seen based on more specific aspects in each individual horoscope. But yes, it could show like, you know, you really love to spend time with animals and animals really make you happy. This could even show like an interest in veterinary science um, or medical science for that matter, actually. This can also show uh, getting a job or that it will be easy for you to get work um, either in real estate, something involved with real estate or vehicles. So this could be anything from being a constructions worker or an engineer, um, sorry, like a constructions engineer or like an automotive age engineer, um, to being a real estate agent or a restaurant manager or anything like that. On the other hand, it can also show that it will be easy for you to find work that um, allows you to work from home. Or you might be specifically interested in working from home. I was just about to say something, but I, I said that I would keep it, I would stick to the positive expression. So I'm sticking to the positive expressions to be continued about the negative. Another positive could be that the early uh, education, so up until high school level, could have given you a very solid routine in life. You know, you maybe learned a very solid, stable routine from your mother um, or from school, for instance. It could also be that you learned a lot about hygiene and how to take care of yourself, how to live healthy, how to take care of your body. Um, you could have had, let's say, an early educational background that specifically focused on 
discipline and routine and also health and um, built you up for competition and also built you up for attention to detail and service. So maybe volunteer, uh, volunteering work was really, let's say, pushed at your school or your early education. Okay, um, this is pretty much what I can see with the fourth house and the sixth. If you had the fourth house lord in the seventh house. So the positives of this is best case scenario, you are going to be happy in your marriage. So the marriage is going to bring you a lot of happiness. Uh, the spouse is going to bring you a lot of happiness. Um, by the same token, this could also mean that business based partnerships sorry, partnership-based business um, are going to bring you happiness and joy and fulfillment. So you could start a partnership-based business with someone, maybe even the spouse, and it could be really successful. Uh, this will be especially true if you focus on fourth house matters, which are real estate, vehicles, uh, the restaurant business, anything involving um, research, early education up until high school level, so research as in uh, because the fourth house is connected to history, right? So especially something that has to do with history, whether it's the history of a culture or archaeology or the history of a family, um, anything that could be connected to that would be especially successful. Also, the fourth house is going forth placements from itself here. So this is a really strong, um, solid foundation here. It shows a lot of stability and it also shows that there's a lot of comfort. Yeah, so like you're going to feel like you're at home with your partner. And it also shows that you can feel quite at home actually speaking to an audience and also speaking to people in one-to-one -one situations. So any kind of position where, let's say you are an advisor of some sort, um, this could be especially favored by this placement, especially since whatever sits in the seventh house is also looking at the ascendant. This also shows a good love life, okay? Like, I mean, good physical intimacy, best case scenario. And this is provided that, you know, fourth house lord is not getting any massive affliction, and um, it's in a good place, basically. This is what I'm talking about. So I said that I would do a separate video at some point in the future about the more negative expressions of these placements. But yeah, this these are the positives, pretty much. And this could also show that you might gain from anything involving negotiations or the justice system. So like even maybe working as a lawyer or as a judge or something where you are put in a position where you have to weigh the pros and cons of a situation. So it could be like a mediator, negotiator, but also just any kind of a situation or a job where you have to be a partial, an impartial observer, basically. Okay, I was just going to say something, but I realized it was a bit negative. So this is pretty much what I can say with respect to the fourth house in the seventh. So fourth house lord in the eighth house. This is a bit unusual, but it's also, it's also possessing a lot of positive qualities. So one thing that I will say right off the bat is you have a strong intuition, very strong intuition. So this placement can even be like borderline psychic, depending on what else is going on there. But it definitely shows that you gain a lot of happiness out of research. Whatever area of life you are, um, let's say, dealing with or whatever field or profession you have, you like to do a lot of research. It gives you pleasure to investigate, to get down to the bottom of things. So this would be a great placement for someone who wants to be, let's say, a detective or a historian or like a geneticist, for instance. So any kind of profession where you have to do a lot of research and get to the bottom of things right off the bat. OK, uh, another thing that you could see po positively from this is you could have a very good relationship with the in-laws. 
So the in-laws, the family of your spouse could bring you a lot of happiness, can bring you a lot of joy. You could also gain real estate through marriage and through the family of the spouse. Either real estate or vehicles. It could also happen many times in your life where you feel like you just get windfalls, especially around the times when the transits, uh, when, sorry, when these houses or their lords are being activated by transits or through dashas. So for instance, if you're going through the dasha of the fourth house lord and the antar dasha of the eighth house lord, if this is a positive configuration, meaning there's no massive affliction happening on these uh, lo- houses or their lords, you might be seeing a windfall. Like you might, I don't know, suddenly, I don't want to say win the lottery because I don't want to encourage anyone to gamble. It could be something like that or it could be something small. I don't know. If you invest suddenly, like your investments will pay off a lot more than you expected. Or um, I don't know, you might win some raffles or something. So that could happen. Unexpected gains could happen positively. You could also have very unusual tactics of investigation. Tactics of investigation, and you could be seen as a very unusual person when it comes to your thinking. I'm just saying that you could could be seen like that doesn't mean it's either positive or negative. It also can show that it will be easy for you to get loans for real estate or for vehicles, especially, or loans for um, early education, let's say, or for your children. It could also show that your mother or your mother's side of the family can be very supportive when it comes to loans. Um, Another thing is, It could also show that you will live with your spouse's family, family, their family of origin. And if this is a positive situation, meaning, again, no massive affliction, this is probably going to bring you some happiness and some comfort. Um, Like I said, could even be that, I don't know, they have a really big house or a nicer place and you move in or something. Or it could just be that they might help you to gain a better place. They could help you out financially. If you have the fourth house lord in the um, ninth house, this one is interesting because the ninth house um, could be mentors, can also be the father figure or the father's teachings. So one thing that it shows is the father could have been very instrumental in shaping your early education. Maybe he encouraged you to get an education, maybe he was a teacher, even um, something about the father being, um, you know, kind of a mentor figure, especially early on in life up until the graduation of high school. This is one thing. And another way to look at it is like the father um, and also the mentors that you have in life or the teachers could have taken on a kind of maternal role. You know, they were kind of nurturing and, you know, attentive to your needs and all that stuff. You may have had some kind of a teacher, especially in early life, that was almost like a mother figure or maybe multiple teachers. Um, Aside from that, you are definitely the kind of person who gains a lot of happiness from education, especially higher education, and also um, traveling abroad. You could also be gaining a lot of happiness from studying anything to do with the fourth house. So things like history and anything to do with your culture or tradition of origin, especially the mother side of the family. Um, Studying things like architecture, um, constructions engineer, maybe automotive engineering, you know, something to do with the vehicles and constructions of vehicles and stuff like that. Um, So these things could bring you a lot of happiness. And then you could also be really good at just studying history and psychology as well. So these things could really bring you happiness. Another thing is, this is really, um, I mean, yeah. Another thing is that you could actually feel at home in a academic area. So... 
um, maybe also the, it could also be that the early life environment was somehow academic, like maybe your parents were intellectuals or the people in your family, you know, were very intellectual and you heard a lot of deep conversations and a lot of, you know, debates and all that. So you're very comfortable being around educated individuals. This can also definitely show that you yourself, um, you are a very smart person. You have the potential to make it big in some kind of intellectual field, like I said, with a lot of uh, study. Another way to look at it, though, but again, I, I am, I'm just going to say it briefly because, like I said, I'm going to expand more on the negatives in the future video. Um, this could show some kind of conflict as well with father figures and also with mentors. You know, conflicting ideas at least. And um, aside from that, dealing with foreign cultures. And this is one of those placements, depending on what else is going on, that could show you might actually be happier moving abroad. So, because the fourth house is the house of the home base and the ninth house is the house of faraway lands, faraway travel, uh, long distance or long-term travel. It can also show that you might travel for education, you might move abroad briefly for education, um, especially around the times when these houses and their lords are being activated through transits or dashas. Um, but it can also, like I said, show that you might actually move abroad permanently. And if it's all good, you know, with the house lords and all that, it's going to be a positive situation. This can also show that you could gain from intellectual competitions. So again, it would be favored in academia, for instance, you know, where let's say you are applying for a grant or something, you know, you might be more successful than your competitors um, or any kind of situation where you have to compete intellectually, you might be really favored. Okay, uh, fourth house lord falling into the 10th house. All right, so this is probably the strongest placement that shows a career in real estate. Um, I mean, it's not going to be like set in stone. Of course, there could be multiple other placements that say something different. It could show a career in real estate. You know, it could show any an interest in a profession that has to do with the fourth house. So it could be real estate, restaurants, hotel business, uh, vehicles, history, you know, the homeland, even something like diplomacy, for instance, that would definitely be a strong placement, especially because the fourth house lord is going seven places from itself. This can also show that the father figure is actually seen as more of a mother figure or somehow um, is, let's say, feminine, maybe perceived as a bit feminine in some ways by the child or just somehow is perceived as kind of a mother figure. Um, this is one way to look at it. It also shows there is a lot of happiness gained from the career, from public service, probably a very, very strong drive to have a career with this placement and also to have a visible career. You know, when you're dealing with a lot of people where you have a lot of responsibilities, it could definitely be a good placement for, you know, climbing the corporate ladder. But you would also be favored uh, in situations where you have to be diplomatic. So kind of a mediator, like I said, um, or just working with people in one-to-one -one situations. You could also get a lot of benefits from the government or some kind of ruling power, you know. So, again, you might get subsidies for your business or for your career or for an educational program or something like that. You might get some kind of a luck um, through the governing powers of your place of origin. One potential, okay, I said that I was going to do the negatives in a separate video, but I, just briefly, uh, one thing that I will say, okay, it can go both ways, depending on what kind of a person you are, but with this kind of a placement, it will be difficult to keep your private life private, so be really careful because anything that you say or do can 
um, I don't know, come to the public eye or could, you know, your private life, for instance, could affect your career or something like that. But I'll, I will get more into potential negatives in the future video. This can also show that the mother is very supportive and very encouraging of you developing a career, you know, developing your talents. Your early education also helps you a lot in climbing the corporate ladder or just actually with this placement, you are definitely likely to do well in any situation where you slowly climb the ranks. As opposed to, so like a corporation or any kind of hierarchical structure. This can also show that uh, most of the job opportunities will come from the homeland. So uh, you will be favored also. So you could be getting a lot of great opportunities in your place of origin. So automatically, unless there are a lot of um, placements that so show otherwise, this placement tends to show that you will probably not want to move abroad or you would not have a lot of reasons to move abroad. This can also show that your mother is someone prominent, someone who has a reputation or just, yeah, respectable in society. And this could also benefit you, of course. Um, if you have the fourth house lord in the 11th, this could show that the the older sibling, the elder sibling, if you have one, or sometimes your friends could be like a mother figure. So you could have one or multiple friends or siblings that are playing the role of a mother in your uh, life. They're being very nurturing, you know, asking you if you ate your vegetables, <laughs> taking care of your health or something like that. They could be very patient and understanding with you. So this is a pretty good placement from that perspective. This can also definitely show um, a lot of ups and downs, though, okay? Uh, could go either way, you know? I, like I said, I'm going to try to keep it positive uh, with this video. Um, but it could go ups and downs. You could have ups and downs in gains, one thing that I will say, from your career especially. If this is positive, though, um, you will always land on your feet. You know, you're always like, no matter how transformational of an experience you go through, it's always going to be ultimately working towards your favor. And you could also be gaining a lot from real estate. You could be gaining from uh, research connected to fourth house matters. So this means um, researching origins, history, anything to do with real estate or housing or vehicles. And it could even be psychology because fourth house is the mother, the early life environment and early personality. You could also be gaining a lot from education, either becoming like a teacher up until high school level or your education itself prepares you for life to such an extent that you gain a lot from it. Your friendships could transform you for the better. Your acquaintances could transform you for the better. Um, your older siblings could have a very strong impact on your life, your personality, and even your living situation. This can also show that you feel very comfortable living in, um, I don't want to say a crowded environment, but you might even feel feel comfortable living with friends for instance or you might find yourself living with siblings and if this is a positive situation meaning there's no major affliction going on with respect to um, the lords of these houses it will probably be a positive situation for you you know um, maybe living with a sibling or living with friends will lower your living expenses it will be a fun time literally this would be the placement that you would see in uh, the horoscopes of those characters from Friends. <laughs> that would actually make a lot of sense. Um, haven't checked the actor's horoscopes, but it would be funny if there's a connection there. And yeah, pretty much you would be gaining a lot of happiness from your connections, from your network. Um, also, this could show... Like I said, gaining from real estate... But it could show, um, like, you really enjoy concerts, any kind of grand events that in involve uh, a lot 
of people, large audiences. This could also show that maybe your living circumstance is easily attracting attention, you know, so you could have, again, I'm looking towards the positive expressions in this video, but it could be that your house, for instance, your living situation is so enviable that it attracts a lot of attention. And if the fourth house Lord falls into the twelfth house, so this is a really good placement. First and foremost, this is one of those really strong placements that shows heightened intuition. So it would be a great placement for someone who is into astrology, psychology, tarot, anything that is kind of borderline occult. It's a very good placement that develops the intuition, you know, makes you even borderline psychic. You could have a very active subconscious. You could have dreams that are very vivid that even you know, send you certain messages and you might give you inspiration. Um, yeah, so that could happen. Like your subconscious is very active. Um, it could also be that you are sensitive to other people's emotions and their personality to such an extent that you can pick up on all kinds of subtle behaviors and you can be very good at reading people. Another thing is, um, okay, I'm going to stick to the positive, like I said in this video. I mentioned this, I think, in almost every segment. But I'm going to, you know, I'm going to do a separate video, like I said in the introduction, where I talk about the more potentially uh, negative expressions of these same placements. But in the positive sense here, you could actually be the kind of person that does not mind spending time in isolation, you know, you could actually derive a lot of clarity from being in isolation. Um, you could also definitely be happy focusing on things like meditating, yoga, you know, the mind-body balance, and also things that just strengthen your resilience intellectually and emotionally. Um, you could also be very happy studying anything that has to do with mysteries and Things that are ethereal and, you know, otherworldly and all this stuff. You could be particularly drawn to religion. Um, it could be that your religion will bring you a lot of happiness, a lot of joy in life, or just studying beliefs in general. So you could even be the kind of person who goes to university to study religions or philosophy. And you like to study different people's worldview, basically, their overview of life. And you could be particularly um, interested in the science of sleep. Science of sleep and dreams and all this stuff. Like basically anything that happens in an unconscious state. You could be the kind of person who loves to study the Silva method, for instance, you know, which is all about programming the subconscious. But like I said, meditating, spending time in peace and quiet could definitely be something that is appealing and brings you happiness. This can also show that um, it's one of those placements, again, just like the fourth house and the ninth, um, that can show you might move abroad at some point because the fourth house is the home base and the twelfth house is literally the farthest thing away from the fourth house. So it could be that you might even move to a different continent at some point, whether it's permanent or not, you know, whether it's going to be good or not, all of that has to be seen from individual horoscopes. But look for the transits that activate the 4th house and the 12th house and, the, and their lords or any planets that sit in the 4th and the 12th houses. When they are activated, you might have an opportunity to either travel to faraway places or even move to faraway places. You might also especially move to foreign lands um, to study or any kind of activity that involves some kind of educational thing or also involving religion. Maybe through religion. You know, like, uh, I don't know what it's like, but I'm sure it's the same in other places. But in my country, for instance, there are loads of people who are um, people who are involved with the Pentecostal or Baptist church. They travel all over the world through their communities. So, for instance, that could be something that you see through this placement. Or, you know, traveling to an ashram, for instance, to practice yoga or a spiritual retreat. Those things could make you happy. And um, you could also, yeah, you could really gain from higher education. 
you could gain from higher education. But with this placement especially, there is a high likelihood of moving abroad or gaining something like a vehicle or a house when you are uh, dealing with foreigners or moving abroad or something like that. There's a pretty strong connection with these placements. Okay, um, fourth house lord falling in the first house last, but... Oh, actually, wait a minute. I already dealt with this. You see what I'm talking about? I'm tired. <laughs> I am tired, y'all. I Like I said in the beginning, I've been working like, I don't know, 55, 60 hours a week. Um, I don't know what day it is. And also night shifts. Um, yeah, but bear with me. Okay, so I have reached the end. I've already dealt with the fourth house lord in the first house at the beginning and I hope that you will find these useful as usual. Of uh, Please comment in the comment section with anything you would like to share that is relevant to this topic, you know, with respect to your experiences or experiences of people that you know, uh, which parts resonated, which parts maybe didn't resonate, or yeah, any other additional information that you could share that might help the research. Uh, I would greatly appreciate it. And as usual, of course, if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, uh, click on the notifications bell if you want to be posted, notified when I post a new video. And if you want more information about the membership section, check out the video description for that. Actually, the video introduction, there's an introductory segment where I go into the membership section in, in depth and uh, still have to post the membership uh, videos for this month, actually for last month as well and this month. So this month I'm gonna have to post two videos per each segment. Um, each membership tier is what I'm trying to say. And also if you are interested in finding out more about personal readings, check out the video description as well. You can find more information. Actually, you can find my contact information. You can email me, I can send you more information about uh, what kind of reading options I offer, what the prices are, their waiting times and other details. And last but not least, I also have a tarot channel, which I will be linking in the video description as well. And if you like tarot, if you're curious about it, go ahead and check it out. Maybe subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much for listening, and I hope to see you at my next video. Bye!